Hey guys, it's Nate, aka The Foot Accountant. Welcome back to the channel. We have a new loading screen with two new cards on the face of FIFA with our first Europa League Road to the Final cards coming today in FIFA. So I want to talk about that, who those two players could be, and some very, very crazy market movements we saw today. And a nice, as a whole, a nice market rise after squad battle rewards with not much content today on a Monday, which is what we've been seeing for the past couple of weeks. So if you're buying things late Sunday during rewards or early Monday morning, you can honestly hold those things and a nice market rise has been happening um, into Tuesday. So we'll talk about that stuff. We're watching the market rise right now because the last couple Mondays have been slightly lackluster content. So let's take a look at this loading screen first off because this is what everybody is looking at right now and pondering who are these two players and what does this mean, right? So of course on the website, we've looked at it a couple times uh, for the Road to the Final promo, EA said that later in the campaign, we were going to see more information on Europa League cards. And here's our info. So it looks like what they're going to be doing is putting more cards in packs today on Tuesday because they tweeted this out today. And if you look at the loading screen, it says the timer is set for 6 p.m. UK or the usual content drop time on Tuesday, November 10th is when we're going to see Road to the Final Europa League. So it's almost like a small part of the promo inside the promo. They're releasing like two promo teams in packs. Now, these are my thoughts, right? We have two cards that are on the loading screen. And the way they've been doing Road to the Final in years past is like three-fourths or maybe two-thirds of the players are Champions League Road to the Final, and the other third or fourth, somewhere in that range, is Europa League. Now, if you look at the squad last year from Road to the Final, it was about, I would say, how many cards do we have? We have a decent amount of cards in here. We have one, two, three, four, five, six, and actually only five of those Europa League cards were in packs. And I think Wendell and Handanovic maybe last year were in the Champions League, so they started off as Champions League cards and moved to Europa League. So with like one-fourth, let's say, just say one-fourth of the cards last year were Europa League compared to three-fourths being Champions League. With this design coming out, I would expect somewhere between maybe four, Four to six cards coming into packs today. I don't think it's going to be a full 11 unless EA is going all out and they're going to have two full promo sides, one for Europa League, one for Champions League. But the reason I don't think they'll do a full side of 11 is because some cards that are in the road to the final team number one right now um, that is in, in packs right now, some of these cards when they get you know third place in the group stages, they'll go down to Europa League and they'll become Europa League cards. So I don't think EA wants more Europa League cards than Champions League cards in this game. So probably that's why I would only expect a couple cards in packs. We can kind of treat this like man of the matches, right? These cards will, I'm guessing, be in packs for either a week uh, or they will stop in packs on Friday with the other Champions League Road to the Final cards. But uh, that's kind of what I'm expecting for this kind of content drop today. Now, we could also get an SBC, which I would expect that as well today. Since we have this card design released, I would expect some sort of uh, U UEL, Europa League, SBC, and possibly objective. So it might be a busy day of content today on Tuesday, and we'll keep that in mind when we talk about the market a little bit later. So who are these two players, right? There's a lot of panic selling today based off a couple of these players. So here are the two front runners. This is by Simon Design on Twitter. I'll, I'll leave a link to this in the description. This is fantastic work. But Ndidi and Renato Sanchez, another Renato Sanchez special card, a live item. Imagine if this card is actually Renato Sanchez. That'd be crazy because Leo possibly going through Europa League, the potential for them to continue to get, get upgrades and for this card that is already OP is an 82 rated card uh, going even higher. Now, one thing we have already seen is Marcus Rashford, right, got a road to the final card and it, he has the exact same stats as his 86 in form. So if Renato Sanchez was going to get a live Europa League item today, I think it would have the exact same stats as his in form and be the same rating. And people are thinking that this other card with the 86 physical on the loading screen is going to be in Diddy. So that's going to be very interesting. If that is in Diddy, that's a, that's a pretty solid center defensive mid in the Prem. There'd be a lot of people that would be pretty stoked for that card, I think, depending on the price. And of course, it's a live item. Leicester are playing fantastic. Um, they got a good squad. So this card could get upgraded a lot and you could see a pretty nasty card by the end of the year. So there's going to be some hype there as well. But that's kind of what I'm expecting for today. In, in all honesty, I would expect some sort of SBC for a Europa League card. Now, some people, when they saw that player today, the Ndidi, my, my mind imagined, or like quickly started to imagine a 
uh, Sissoko Spurs UEL card. We've got to get some Spurs uh, Europa League cards. We have to. But since we already have two Champions League Road to the Final SBCs, I would expect a third one today inside of the game. Maybe not an objective. I'm curious to see how much content they would drop midweek because if they dropped an SBC and an objective, that's almost just as much content as they would drop on a promo Friday. So I'll be curious to see how they drop like a promo Tuesday since they're adding cards into packs is what it seems. Uh, unless those cards that they put on the loading screen are just going to be like one objective and one SBC. Then we'll see. Uh, then that'll be different as well. But it looks like they're going to be in packs because usually when EA puts cards on the loading screen, it means that there's going to be items in packs. So again, speaking of the content today, all that we had, uh, when I tweeted out today, I totally forgot that on Sunday, the Conmi Bowl SBCs have been released. So I tweeted out and said, hey, these are new, but they actually weren't. We had a back of the net SBC for another untradeable pack supply pack. So hey, EA, I guess GG's to you guys, they're not crashing the market every day and it makes investing on a weekly basis. Uh, we have this new kind of thing in FIFA on the weekends. Instead of Thursday flipping, it's almost more guaranteed profit. You can do like Sunday flipping and Thursday flipping. It's kind of crazy. So I'm going to talk about that here in a second. Uh, but the content today was just the loading screen and that SBC, which was untradeable. So it didn't impact the market. But of course, since we had that loading screen and since uh, the content today didn't really affect the market tradable wise, you saw a lot of things continue to actually push up. Let's take a look at Footbin here for a second. A lot of these cards are on the up and up. Uh, Sun, 140, he's up 10,000 coins. Martial, 112, he's up 10K. Werner was in the 160s. Um, Bruno Fernandez was 91K last night. So a lot of these cards at Squad Battle Rewards have risen since then. And that is like a, a trading method that we can do almost every week. We can take a look at these cards right before rewards or on Sunday. Bruno was 90K yesterday, 93,000 coins. And as you can see, he's risen from the low 90s all the way up to about 100,000 coins. Now, maybe part of that rise is due to the fact that there's a, a Portuguese player on the front of the on the front page. I don't think that's really too much to do with it, but there is a lot of things that are rising up very nicely right now on the market. Now, Road to the Final cards are still kind of chilling. We'll talk about when to buy those a little bit later. I want to see what comes out with the content today with Europa League before talking about buying those champions in Road to the Finals. But a lot of cards have rebounded, right? Uh, Mertens is up. Andre is back up. Laporte is just kind of chilling. Some cards are still chilling a little bit, but a lot of the out of packs in form, some of the rule breakers, and a lot of the meta gold cards are up. I remember last night talking about uh, Di Maria in like the 340, 350 range. He was back at 380 today. Lukaku's back at 390. Podence was 90. He's now 99. Pogba was like 970 at one point today. Quadrado 193. So Opara 58K. Wow, he really went up today. So a lot of the out of pack special cards did have a rise today. Uh, I, I know for, uh, Walker is up 623, Firmino is up a little bit, Ramos is up a little bit, so uh, let me check on Team of the Week 1. Some of these cards are about the same, Ben Yedder's up about 20k, uh, so some of those cards are, are the same, but some of the newer hyped promo cards or very meta players like St. Maxon was 340 last night, he's now at 360. You, you just do see a lot of a nice market rise on those Mondays on a lot of these cards. Again, I'll show you Sun just again for an example. This is like the new Sunday flipping is honestly what it is. Now, is it going to wear off at some point? Yeah, it's probably going to wear off at some point. Uh, but you can tell last night, 125, that was actually on Sunday. And then it rewards again. He was in the low 130s and you were able to pick him up there. And now you can sell him. He's probably going to keep rising into the morning a little over the 140 range. So if you have cards that you bought Sunday night, what I would probably do is with the possible content coming today, like I bought some Griezmanns, right? I bought Griezmanns at 51, 52K. Uh, I think Griezmann's about 60K now. Is that, is that true? Griezmann is just under 60,000 coins. So what I'm probably going to do with these cards, even though he's out of packs, is uh, I think a lot of people are going to end up wanting to cash out on their investments today that they made on Sunday night. So I'm making a nice like what three, four K a card here. That's not terrible. I think I have like five or six of them. GG's, right? Let's say you bought a guy like Hyunmin Sun, who we were just looking at, who is 140 K. Let's say you bought him in like the mid low 130s. Uh, you might want to, you might be able to see this go up to, you know, 143, 144, 145. Yeah, absolutely 145 by tomorrow. I think this guy continues to go up a little bit overnight. Um, but then in the morning, there might be a little bit of a drop off. 
before the content drop comes and the Europa League content comes because people will have these investments and they'll be looking to dish them out. Now, if, if nothing big comes tomorrow and stuff starts to drop, but then there's not really a lot of content, you might see the market pick right back up depending on what SBCs and um, objectives and players and packs actually come out. Uh, but it seems like these people that have invested, the market is rising because people are now learning that buying teams Sunday nights into Mondays, with especially with not a lot of content on Mondays happening, does end up making the market get pushed up. And it's honestly a really great, uh, you can be flipping all the time, short-term flipping. You can buy like Sunday night, you can sell on Tuesday, you can buy again on Tuesday night, Wednesday night, sell again after rewards. It's like just constant scenarios of flipping if the trends continue like this in foot which is very very nice right it's very it's casual friendly because we haven't had a lot of market drops every day like we were having earlier on in the year uh that was that the second week of fifa the game was out we were getting those tradable pack supply sbcs and it was tanking the market three to four percent for like an hour or two and then it was picking it back up but there was just so much panic selling that a lot of people were just consistently losing coins every day because cards wouldn't rebound to as high as they were before that so Again, just to keep it simple, I would say if you have like a Sun, uh, if it's an out of packs card like a Rashford or a Griezmann, you technically could maybe hold on to those a little bit longer if you wanted to and wait to sell those uh, because those cards are out of packs until Friday, of course, because they're in road to the final. But um, you can definitely take a hold on those. And uh, other than that, though, if you want to do an in a pack, a card that is in packs, you might consider taking the coins today before the content drop happens because. We're just not entirely sure what comes out. I don't think there'd be crazy content on Tuesday, but just being safe, people like to panic sell. A lot of people are invested right now, so if content does come out, a lot of people are going to be panic selling those investments and shipping them off, and that could cause for a loss of coins on the market. But since Renato Sanchez was on the front screen, there's two popular players on Footbin that a lot of people are looking up right now, and that is Joao Felix and Renato Sanchez. This Renato Sanchez in form was... Uh, like 250,000 coins this morning. There's been a lot of panic selling on these cards. It doesn't actually show it on the graph here, but there was a lot of panic on Joao Felix today, fluctuating up and down, uh, and then Renato Sanchez as well. This guy was 250 again this morning, but obviously people were thinking, hey, this guy's 250, he's gonna get a live card. He went panic sold all the way back down to 206. Now he's back up to 225. If you did buy into this card today, G freaking G's, uh, and how do you know to buy into a card like this, right? When a card is this hyped up, even though he's low rated, when he's this hyped up, there's going to be a point where all the panic selling, it hits a bottom and it's going to bounce back. And there's going to be some people that invest in there as well and help that market rise, especially on an out of packs in form that is very, very meta. So this guy, I could see him going back to two, two, not quite 230, maybe 225 or so. And you're making a solid, if you bought it like 205 or 200 K, uh, you're making a solid like 10 to 15k a card on almost all of those. So that's a nice one day flip if you don't want to risk it. Now, if the card that comes out, right, if this card that's on the loading screen is not actually Renato Sanchez and it's somebody else, all right, then this card's going to shoot back up in my opinion. So if you're wanting to hold and you don't think it's going to be Renato Sanchez, uh, then good luck. But this is really looking like Renato Sanchez because those Europa League live cards match the stats of the inform. This inform has 83 pace. The inform again, just so I can show you on the loading screen has 83 pace. So just be careful because this might actually be Renato Sanchez. And that's why there was a lot of panic selling today. So that'll be an interesting market movement to watch for sure. Um, talking about, uh, I should have just said on flipping, talking about the SBC fodder situation. Last night at Rewards was a great time to buy. I'm, look, I'm looking at the 80, the index 85. And of course, today when the, the loading screen dropped, a lot of people saw that and they said, hey, this is a possibility for SBCs. And they saw this stuff rising. So they went out and bought more um, SBC fodder. Now, another reason why some of the higher tier indexes of fodder are going up right now, 86s are up a lot as of this time right here, that is because of the release. EA Sports tweeted out today that the League One Player of the Month vote is live. So, um, EA POTM. Let's check this out really fast. The La Liga or Liga on Uber Eats uh, vote is live. And if you click on the link, it takes you to the website and you have these three candidates, Jonathan Bamba, Wissam Ben Yedder, and Kylian Mbappe. So big time player of the month going to be coming up in the next couple of weeks. I don't expect this SBC to honestly be coming out in foot at least for another two weeks, at least a week and a half. Um, because we have the Niana SBC that is in here, and I've, I talked about that in my video yesterday a little bit, 
Um, I don't think we're going to be getting the, that player of the month just yet because this still has 12 days left, a lot of time. So I would expect at least uh, a week and a half, I think, before the League Un vote comes out. But the, the account to follow on Twitter, if you want to follow the correct account that's going to be announce, announcing the winner of this uh, vote is going to be the at uh, UNFP. It's a Spanish account, or sorry, not, not Spanish, French account. All right, it's a French account, so make sure you follow this up. Turn the notifications on, possibly, because they're going to be the ones that will tweet out who does win the award. I think if you go back here, you might be able to see. You have to go back pretty far, but they're the ones that did tweet out the Neon ASBC and him as the winner. So that will be your first um, your first knowledge of when they do announce that SBC, who is going to be the person that wins it. So that's going to be a big SBC. Now, obviously, like we think back to last year where we had Player of the Month Messi, who came out in December, and that SBC was very expensive, but it's messy. So people had a lot of cards that were stacked up, and that's why people are buying into informs and high rateds right now. If you're interested in that, I mean, SBC fodder is decently cheap, 84, so like 2.5K. 85s are still decently cheap. We just don't have a lot of SBC demand yet, and that's why you don't see a lot of those cards going up. But if you still want to do a club stock, maybe wait until like rewards day until some of the hype dies down from the first day release of the vote. You know, maybe people forget about Mbappe player of the month for a couple of days. Rewards come out. The new content comes out this Friday, uh, or maybe it rewards Thursday because we could have a Sun or a Kane player of the month on Friday. So that could be another entry point for some SBC fodder if you're interested there. Uh, and it's going to be a time of a lot of SBC. So having a club stock going might not be a bad shot at all. So that's kind of my thoughts on the content, what we could see today. I'm kind of hyped for a Tuesday content, boys. Europa League cards, especially for my Spurs. Uh, you know, Leicester, like we had the Ndidi card. Arsenal are in Europa League. There's a lot of teams in Europa League that can have some really nice cards. Uh, live items like that Renato Sanchez would be, that'd be a crazy card for FIFA. He would easily become like the, the I don't know, not the rat, but like the OP player of FIFA 21. So far, I think Renato Sanchez takes uh, the cusp, takes the trophy on that one. So it's going to be an interesting day on foot. A little Tuesday promo inside of a promo. It's going to be weird, but we'll see what happens. If you enjoyed the video, smash the thumbs up on it. Comment down below if you have any questions. And subscribe to the channel if you're new. It's been Nate the Foot Account. Catch you guys later. Peace out.